Okay. Heather, in summation, what would be your top warnings to the audience or, or advice on how to proceed in modern life? Taking these things with a grain of salt, trying to make, make the best decisions in real time. And then subsequently, I won't, obviously, where can they get more from you? Where do they go? Because I, I just watch your show to, so that I can ask yeah. a lot of the right questions. But but what, what would be your, hey, watch out for this or, hey, do these three things? Or is there even such a... Yeah, I'm actually, I'm, I'm working on another book. Thank God. Which the, the point, the goal is to help people learn how to think scientifically. Because I, I think, I think, and this is what I did as a professor. And it's not that I want everyone to know how to run a PCR or what a PCR is. Like I know. And like, j- just like, you know, several of the questions you asked me, I was like, yeah, I don't really know that. That's not like, that's not my wheelhouse. It's not really what I do. And that's like, once you know how to listen to people make claims and say, okay, but on what basis are you making those claims? And if they never provide any of their evidence, if they don't show their work, as I said, right, with regard to Fauci, then you should begin to be skeptical and say, you know what, I'm not going to do the thing you said because the only basis on which you told me to do that was authority. So how do you, so that's the first thing, like on what basis are you making your claims? If you never show me, then I have no reason to trust you. And so okay. you, you, you walk around the world going, okay, I know some things. On what basis do I know these things? And it gets a little exhausting after a while. Like you can't be questioning absolutely everything in your world. But once you get this habit of mind of being like, huh, I wonder if that's true. How would I know? It becomes a game and it's fun and it's exciting to also discover like, oh, my predictive powers are getting better and better. I didn't think those were going to be safe and effective and turns out they're not, right? Also to discover your own errors and be like, oh, I can get better at this. And it is so freeing to, to discover I've been wrong. Maybe I even shared it with people, my, my wrongness. I'm going to go back to them and say, I was wrong. Here's how I know. Here's how you can avoid being wrong in the same way I was in the future. So it's this like educating yourself, improving yourself, improving others. And it is, I think, just a fundamentally scientific way of wandering around the world. But that sounds terrifying to people because people are like, oh, I'm not science. I'm not sciencey. I'm not a scientist. Like, no, we all can do this. We all can do this. Right. It's it's how you think. And I've learned to start doing that, even questioning. There was a letter about Kennedy that was circulating. It was like, I was going to get asked about it on News Nation. It's like, oh, 17,000 doctors signed it. And I thought like, really? So of course I looked into... Who's the group that organized the letter? Oh, I found out that anybody can sign the letter as many times as anybody wants to sign the letter. And then I looked at who, I was like, well, hold on, who funded the group? And then I looked at who funded them. And it turns out it's like filtering through this dark money organization, through a bunch of shell corporations. I mean, it was, but I never, and every single news organization, The Hill, The Guardian, The Telegraph, the this, the that, whatever, Oh, 17,000 doctors have signed this letter, you know, denouncing Kennedy. And you just be like, oh, 17,000 doctors. Okay, I guess he's bad. Without previously, I would never have thought twice. And it's just like dig deeper. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I mean, I think it just, it's again, this, uh, this thing about numbers that I mentioned before, that right. we love numbers. We, yes. And so you put a number, even a number that doesn't sound like particularly round, or like 17,000, like, ooh, 17, I can repeat that, 17,000, then everyone's going to know it's the same story. 17, seven, do you hear 17,000? Like, okay, but you went, you dug, and you found, I think, that most of them weren't even doctors. No, nope. right? like, most of them aren't even real, if they're right, real at all. Yeah, right. I mean, I'm two of the names, and... <laughs> They're definitely not real. <laughs> I am definitely not an, as, an anesthesiologist or a podiatrist. And my name is not Dr. Fake or Dr. Bullshit. So I know that two of those doctors on the list are not, two of the 17,000 are in fact not real. I can, I can guarantee that. Craziness. Yeah. 